Hello there fellow humans, I'm what I said, and I'm back, so as you, if you see this. Hello there, and if you, and this is my first video that you saw, I don't really upload that much. Sometimes I do, I just shout out to the boys because I used to be bored, now I have a job. This is the reason why I didn't upload for the last two months, because I started a new job. And it's a good one. I will tell you later about it. It's really nice. I really like it. And um, anyway, yeah. So I started a new job, and I work in, at a retail store. So it's nice, like a supermarket. And I really like the management over there. Like my manager doesn't have the patience to deal with customers so we just kick them out if they are not him and it's really funny so i have some stories that i will tell you later but first of all let's talk about the drawing so it's pride month one of my favorite months of the year why it's one of my favorite months first of all i really like to see the progression of the humankind second of all i really like colors Third of all, most of my friends are from the LGBTQ plus and I love and respect them as we should love and respect all human species. So this drawing is about pansexuality. What is pansexuality? It's pretty much the love of the human soul over their genitalia, which I respect as someone who doesn't love, not in a romantic way and not in a sexual way, anyone, I really respect the pansexuality and the idea behind it, because I found it to be really reasonable, as well all of the situation. they are all very valid, and I really respect them. Now, for a story about my work. So I start to work at a retail store. Which is lovely. I really like it. over there. Nobody annoyed me. Nobody talked to me. If then I'm the one who chooses to be socialized or not. Also, I can be a happy-go-lucky person, and it's really nice because nobody scream uh, screams me. But what I do have a problem is customers because customers are a bunch of idiots, and I don't care what you say because they are. I had a man come to ask me if I can if he can buy melted butter at the supermarket. And I was about to die over that. A secret. You take the butter and put it in the microwave. This is what I told him. Honey, you need to take the butter and put it in my in the, in the microwave and put it like for one and a half a minute and then mix it and put it in another and you're just like I don't have a microwave can I like put hot water on it and I'll just like no butter is fat you will destroy your butter like this don't do it but do you have like five plates and we're just like yes so put it over there until it's melted and we're just like thank you also the same man came to me and asked me what is vanilla extract and if you can use vanilla pudding instead and I was just like if you tend to put like a teaspoon of vanilla pudding you should just buy vanilla extract you have the taste of the vanilla it just will be less stable and just like I don't need stability and I'm just like so use vanilla extract honey <laughs> another thing is my manager have a no patient for it customers and it's the most hilarious thing that I ever saw. In one morning he just kicked out like two customers because they were annoying. One of them called one of the res res registered worker he names and, and and the manager will just walk to him and was just like dude go out I don't want you here. I don't need your money I don't need anything from you you won't call any of my workers he names any so then he kicked him out and then like 20 minutes later I had to deal with uh, some Karen who 
didn't stop complaining. I didn't care because I have music in one ear and I just showed her what she wanted. She wanted candle, uh, candles and gave it to her. And then she just went to the manager and she started complaining about stupid stuff. And he just like, man, I don't care. This is not a day to anger me. If you don't want to be here, go out. So he kicked her out as well. And this is what happens when the manager doesn't have the patience. Also, the same uh, registered worker that's been called in names, he get called a lot uh, in names by uh, by customers, but the worker really like him because he's an old dude, it's like in the 60s or 70s, and he just got up on his chair in one of the days, he really didn't have patience. We had like a terrorist attack and it, nobody slept at night because there was a, a heat in one of the houses not that far away from where I work. And he just got up on his chair and say, ladies and gentlemen, nobody complains today. The one who complains will go out. I don't care. You will be quiet and be respectful or I will personally kick you out. And then uh, my manager just walked to him and was just like, do you need a cigarette uh, break? And the worker was like, yes, yes I do. And, and then the manager uh, took over his uh, register so he can go to have a cigarette uh, break. And it was really funny. As well, some woman just started to scream at me for the fact that there was stuff on the aisles and I just stared at her for like, five minutes and was just like and she was just like not that you have any control over it and I was just like yes honey <laughs> thank you have a lovely day and she said yeah you go and have a lovely day as well and it was really funny and another one came to me with the butter and was just like you have a full fridge full of butter why there isn't one uh, price on it and I was just like ma'am it's under control price law we have control price law for stuff like bottles milk bread stuff like that. she's like where is the manager so i took her to the manager and he just told her uh, tell her after, she, uh, after she screamed at him uh, like two minutes and he told her for like two and a half minutes or something like that ignoring the other customers ignoring everyone just like ma'am the butter are under control price law. All of the butter costs exactly the same. And she's like, yes, but... And then he just looked uh, to the other manager and was just like, can you just get somebody to put price on the butter? I really don't have the patience to deal with idiots in front of this woman's face. And it was one of the most hilarious things that I ever saw. She just like become red and it was just like, I really don't have the patience to deal with idiots today. So she got somebody to put price on the butters. I work at like the bakery um, side. I just take care of the baking stuff. So it was just so funny. So I find it to be hilarious. Also, I find like human uh, minions, children's children to be really hilarious as well because they're just like it's a jump from being really annoying and I want to just throw stuff at them it's not happening to me a lot if I really want to throw something at someone actually it's happened to me a lot but usually I just don't look at them I was just I just ignore them but some of them are so funny like there is and there were a child and it really didn't know why he was there, what did his mom wanted him to buy. And I just uh, got there and helped him. It was like a, a 10 year old or maybe a 9 year old. It was a small child. And I was just like, I don't know where I am. What am I supposed to do here? And I'm just like, can you show me the list? I will help you. You need help. And he was just like, yes, I do. So I helped him. And another one uh, got to the store without uh, any money, so 
the worker uh, worker helper. She was like with two shekels and you need four for uh, for buying milk and she just wanted milk. She needed milk and she didn't have enough money so we just got her uh, so the manager gave her like two, two shekels and asked her if she want to buy another thing. So they are really nice people. Really nice. Anyway, yes. I like this new job. It's of course temporary until I start uh, studying. I will talk about studying next uh, week because it will be not next next video. If it will be next week, it will be kind of a miracle for everyone. And yes, I just have gas money, which is beautiful. I really like to have gas money. And I hope you all have a lovely day. And I will go now to sleep because I'm tired. Because it's Saturday and I walk from 8 to 4 and I'm tired. But I hope you all have a lovely day and happy Pride Month. And go eat and go drink. And we don't want to end in the hospital, so please go eat and go drink. I'll maybe tell you the story about why I say that, but not today. <laughs> and I hope you all have a lovely day. See you, fellow humans. Bye-bye.